know atmosphere is an invisible blanket of air and it extends for several thousand kilometers above the earth's surface. Now this atmosphere is not uniform throughout that is the temperature composition and the proportion of gases varies as we move higher. So based on these factors that is composition temperature and other properties that is amount of gases present in different altitudes the scientists have classified or differentiated the entire atmosphere into five distinct layers. So our atmosphere that encircles or surrounds the earth is differentiated into five layers. One, two, three, four, five. Now in today's video we will discuss in details about the lowest layer of atmosphere. Now the lowest layer of atmosphere is called troposphere. So the layer of atmosphere that is closest to the earth's surface is troposphere. This layer of atmosphere is very important because all the weather phenomena like rainfall, cloud formation etc take place in this layer of atmosphere. Now how far this layer extends? We know troposphere is the closest layer to earth's surface. Now we may expect this troposphere to extend uniformly above the earth's surface but this is not true. In reality the extension of troposphere varies. The troposphere extends up to a height of 8 km at the poles and 18 km at the equator. Now why is this the case? This is because the equatorial region is quite hot and warm and therefore the air above the equatorial region gets heated and they expand on heating and rises up. Now the cold layer in the upper layers of atmosphere sinks down. This rising up of hot air and sinking of cold air sets up convectional currents and due to this convectional forces the tropospheric levels at the equator is 18 km. Now at the poles the temperature is quite low so the air at the poles become cold and dense and therefore they sink. Now due to sinking or contraction of cold air the tropospheric level at the poles is 8 km. So therefore since convectional forces is active in the equatorial region so the vertical extension of troposphere is higher in equatorial region than in the polar region and the troposphere extends for 18 km at the equator and at the poles it extends for 8 km. Now the word troposphere can be divided into two words tropos and sphere. Where tropos is a Greek word which means turning, mixing or turbulence. Now this turning, mixing and turbulence implies the changes in weather that take place in troposphere. Now sphere means globe or ball. So troposphere as a whole implies a layer where there is constant change in weather conditions. All kinds of weather changes take place in troposphere because troposphere contains water vapor, dust particles and other impurities in high percentage. Now the water vapor present in troposphere contains around the dust particles and leads to the formation of clouds. These clouds eventually become heavier and leads to rainfall or precipitation. Thus another unique characteristic of earth that is availability of fresh water is obtained from atmosphere. Now we just discussed that troposphere contains important gases like water vapor and oxygen in high percentage. Then why do you think mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders while climbing high mountains? Mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders while climbing high mountain peaks because 
as we move higher the density of air decreases that is the higher we go the air becomes thinner now look at this vertical column of air in this vertical section we can see that air molecules are more in the lower level of atmosphere while the air molecules are less in the upper layer so from this we can infer that with increase in altitude the density of air column decreases and since troposphere is the lowest layer of atmosphere or is located closest to the earth's surface therefore troposphere is the densest layer of atmosphere and other layers of atmosphere that are situated above troposphere contains less amount of air have you ever visited ice cap mountain peaks see here we have a few pictures of mount everest in these pictures we can see that mount everest is very cold and is covered with snow and ice now why these high peaked mountains are covered with snow and ice the reason is that temperature decreases with increase in altitude so the higher we move the cooler it becomes now temperature decreases at a specific rate now what is the rate temperature falls at the rate of 1 degree centigrade for every 165 meter of ascent so now if you multiply 6.5 in numerator and denominator then we get 6.5 and 1000 meter approximately so in other words we can also say that temperature falls at the rate of 6.5 degree centigrade for every 1000 meter of ascent now let us assume that the temperature at the mean sea level that is at 0 meter is 30 degree centigrade now if we move 1000 meter higher then we know that temperature will decrease by 6.5 degree centigrade so we will subtract 6.5 from 30 degree celsius and that is equal to 23.5 degree centigrade now let us move again by 1000 meter more that is at 2000 meter the temperature will again decrease by 6.5 degree centigrade and that is equal to 17 degree celsius now again at 3000 meter that is if there is an increase in altitude by 1000 meter more then temperature again decreases by 6.5 degree centigrade and that is equal to 10.5 degree centigrade so we see that as altitude increases the temperature continuously decreases so temperature and altitude are inversely related so this constant decrease in temperature due to increase in altitude is known as normal lapse rate so according to normal lapse rate temperature falls or decreases at the rate of 1 degree celsius for every 165 meter of ascent or 6.5 degree centigrade for every 
thousand meter of ascent and this behavior or decrease in temperature is known as normal lapse rate so now do you understand why the high peaks of mountains like mount everest are covered in snow because the altitude of mount everest is more than 8000 meter and from this numerical we can conclude that the temperature at this altitude will be lower than the freezing point that is 0 degree centigrade and due to this reason these high peaked mountains like Mount Everest remains covered with snow and ice throughout the year. Now let us continue with our lesson. In troposphere temperature decreases at the rate of 5.6 degree centigrade per 1000 meter of ascent, 6.5 degree centigrade per 1000 meter of ascent, 10.5 degree centigrade per 2000 meter of ascent or 5 degree centigrade per 650 meter of ascent. Well, the correct answer is 6.5 degree centigrade per 1000 meter of ascent because according to normal lapse rate we know that temperature decreases at this rate. Now this graph shows the decrease in temperature in troposphere. We know in troposphere as altitude increases temperature keeps on decreasing. See from 20 the temperature decreases more than minus 40 degree centigrade and the temperature decreases till the boundary of troposphere and at the boundary of troposphere the decrease in temperature stops. So we just discussed that at the boundary of troposphere temperature ceases to decrease. Now this boundary of troposphere is known as tropopause. In other words, tropopause is the upper limit of troposphere. Now, in the previous graph, we saw that at the boundary of troposphere, the temperature decreases more than minus 40 degree centigrade. And this temperature is below the freezing point that is 0 degree centigrade. So, the water vapor present in troposphere freezes into ice. Now, due to this reason, tropopause is also known as cold trap because it traps water vapor, dust particles and other impurities present in troposphere. And why so? This is because the water vapor, dust particles and other impurities freezes into ice as temperature keeps on decreasing. So, tropopause acts like a cap or an invisible barrier which does not allow the water vapor to cross this limit. So, all the weather phenomena like cloud formation, rainfall etc. occur only in troposphere. Now, let us discuss some of the important characteristics of troposphere. Troposphere is the lowest layer of atmosphere and it's closest to the earth's surface. So in this picture, this layer of atmosphere that is situated closest to the earth's surface is troposphere. Now as we discuss, the extension of troposphere is not uniform throughout. The troposphere extends up to a height of 8 km at the poles and about 18 km at the equator. We also discussed that troposphere is the densest layer of atmosphere and it contains about 80% of the atmospheric mass that is most of the air mass is located very close to the earth's surface and why troposphere is the densest layer because we know that the density of air decreases and the air becomes thinner as we move up so troposphere is the densest layer of atmosphere and it contains all the important gases like water vapor nitrogen oxygen dust particles etc in high percentage 
Now, since troposphere contains water vapor, dust particles, and other impurities in high percentage, therefore, all the weather phenomena like cloud formation, rainfall, etc., occur in this layer of troposphere. So, all the weather phenomena like clouds, fog, rainfall, storms, lightning, etc., or whatever changes we experience in weather take place in troposphere. So, these are the important characteristics of troposphere. So, in today's video, we discussed in details about the lowest layer of atmosphere that is troposphere and we also discuss about its important characteristics. In our next video, we will discuss about the next layer of atmosphere that is stratosphere. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.